Oh, hello there. Welcome to Cassie's Kitchen. I'm Cassie. And this is my kitchen. I forgot to mention this in the beginning of the video. This is all the same video. Do not be alarmed. You are watching a primer review. However, I was very kindly sponsored to do this video and I am very grateful, but you won't see the sponsorship until a little bit later on. But due to disclosure, all that good stuff, I wanted to put this in the beginning here to let you all know that this is a sponsored video, Home Chef. And I am going to be telling you about Home Chef and also showing you a meal that I'm going to cook from them. Got some crispy teriyaki tofu tacos that I'm very excited to hop on into. So on to the regular scheduled programming slash the title of the video that you clicked on. I hope you enjoy it and I'll see y'all later. Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of my weekly wear tests here on my YouTube channel where every week I test out a new product. Typically it's going to be a face product, foundation, that sort of a thing. And then I test it out for a week. Uh, it's usually, it's, you'll guys see the three days because uh, that's usually typically how long I, or typically how often I wear makeup in a week. Sometimes more, sometimes less, it's all depending. But either way, you can get a weekly view on how things wear. And this week, Switching it up from foundations and we are going into a primer here. This is a fairly new primer, like within the past couple months maybe. Now Milk Makeup did send this to me and of course they hoped for a review type of thing. They are not guaranteed it and they are certainly not guaranteed a positive review. They know that, they still send me their products, I really appreciate it just so you guys know. But this is the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. It has gotten really, really good reviews since its release. It is $30 for 1.52 fluid ounces. Milk Makeup is also vegan, cruelty-free, all that good stuff. And they say that this is going to take our skin on a trip. Tee hee tee ha, because it has hemp-derived cannabis seed extract to hydrate and plump and smooth and give our skin a nice blissed out effect. They worded that much better than I did. <laughs> and it's also got blue agave extract in it, which apparently has super duper hydra hyper grip properties to it. And for me, it's a yay because it's a silicone free formula. It is also oil free. I have very oily skin and also problematic skin. So I hate uh, for the most part. I mean, it's, it's dependent, but silicones usually are not good for me. Really heavy ones. And the formula is also tinted green. So not only should it work for everybody, but it'll also help to color correct some of the redness in skin. Got a bunch of stats saying that people just basically said their skin felt a lot better, nice and hydrated and plump and glowy looking. Also agreed that skin felt smoother, makeup went on easier, etc, etc. And then to use, you can use one to two pumps for your face. And also they are very specific about allowing this one minute to fully absorb and to activate the grip for all day hold. All day. Yeah, there we go. There are all of the specs. I'm going to be trying this out on just half my face so you guys can see how the foundation, the foundation performs on its own and then also how it performs with the primer, see if this actually does make a difference. I will also be testing it with multiple different foundations so that we can see if there's, you know, if it's foundation specific or if it just works across the board. So, we'll get you zoomed in. Here is my skin at the moment. My skin has been freshly washed washed and moisturized. And now going into this, it's just a, you know, clear acrylic bottle, but it feels nice and heavy duty. Got a little pump. Since they said one to two pumps for the whole face, I'm just gonna do one pump since I'm just doing half of my face. And okay. Hmm, interesting smell. I don't know how to describe it, but you can see it's kind of a, you know, jelly-like texture there. Green tint looks much more apparent in the bottle than it does on my finger, but you can see I've got an assortment of things that, you know, I'm hoping this will make my foundation grip to it. I wonder if the smell is slightly reminiscent of like aloe vera and like fall leaves, you know, like maybe slightly wet, crunchy fall leaves. It's light, but it's there. I don't love the scent, but like I said, it's light, so it's really not too bad. It does feel moisturizing for sure. It feels like putting aloe vera on the skin. But yeah, I am going to allow this one minute so that it will sink into my skin. Can you even, I don't know that you can see that. There we go. Hey, there we go. It's bringing back, sound is bringing back terrible memories of the animal face masks. Anyways, um, 
I was expecting it honestly to feel a little bit more tackier than it does. It does have a little bit of a tack to it, but nothing too, too crazy. And it did, it made my skin feel nice and soft. I mean, not to say this side doesn't feel soft because I've got my moisturizer and oil on, but yeah, it does. It's got a slightly softer feel to it. So I am just gonna go ahead and put on my concealers. So there we go, concealer is on, nothing really to report. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put on my Bobbi Brown foundation. I am trying to be very cognizant of doing the not primed side first so that I don't get primer on my finger or on my tool. Blend that over onto the other side. So that will kind of, kind of defeat the purpose. Honestly, I think it looks pretty comparable from side to side, but I do think that the primer side looks a bit, just a bit smoother, a bit more blurred of an effect. And also like on my cheeks where my pores are a little bit more prominent, I just think it helped it look a little bit, a little bit better. So yeah, I think that is about all I can tell you guys for now. I'm gonna go on with my day. I'm gonna put the rest of my makeup on and just get a lot of stuff done. Got more filming, lots of errands, going to watch RuPaul's Drag Race tonight with the friends. I think, that, I think that's gonna do it. So I'm excited to show you guys how this ends up wearing for today. My hopes are high and I will see you all, not at the end of the night, I'll see you all for my next check-in. Right, hello everyone. I think hopefully you can see me all right. It has been about four hours since I put this primer on. Things are feeling really good. I got sweaty at one point. I did a little, a little shopping challenge for you all that'll be coming up in a future video. I think it actually might be the one after you're seeing this, but either way yeah I really am foundation and everything is feeling good they feel exactly the same although this side of my face does it feels a lot softer now it does look like it is worn off a little bit in my nose crease but otherwise I'm not really noticing ha 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 my friend Jacob just pulled up behind me I don't think he has any clue. <laughs> I don't think he has any clue. Other than that, I think that's about it. Like I said, I am going to go and watch RuPaul's Drag Race, and I will be seeing you all at the very end of the night. So, I'll see you all very soon here. All right, hello everyone, and welcome once again to Cassie's Kitchen. I hope you enjoy this little tiny segment here. I'm Try Out Home Chef. Like I said, I am very excited to try out their food. I hear a lot about Home Chef. I've always wanted to try them, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity. Home Chef is a weekly subscription meal kit service where you get to pick out your meals. They've got a variety of meals that you can choose from that will suit your dietary needs. You can put that all in. I myself am a vegetarian so that was something that I was able to put in and I was able to find recipes that would work for me and whatever it is that you order they provide you a box of pre-portioned fresh ingredients that go directly to you and are ready on the spot to cook. The box comes insulated and everything so any ingredients that could and should be refrigerated they are kept cool in the delivery box and then inside of that they have all of the food pre-portioned and pre-packaged for you it looks really good super fresh especially the vegetables they look nice and uh, colorful I was gonna say green but like I got carrots those obviously are not green <laughs> and yeah these crispy teriyaki tofu tacos spoke to me on a level that I can't even begin to describe they give you these nice meal cards so you get a nice picture of what the dish is supposed supposed to look like and also all of the step-by-step -step instructions on how to do it. Like look at that little perfectly pre-packaged cilantro, green onion, which I just I love that too about this. That was one thing that really always drew me to Home Chef and made me want to try them out is that you don't have to buy in bulk. Like being a single person myself it gets hard cooking some recipes you know because you just need a couple sprigs of green onion like this but you have to buy a whole thing of them like a whole big pack. 
I don't need all of those, but I have to buy them and then it just ends up going to waste, but this way everything is pre-portioned so I don't have anything to waste, which is great. Woohoo! Golden brown beauties! Symbol, we just got a little tortilla, and then we can put the tofu in there. I went ahead and coated it with the included spice mixture. So it comes with a teriyaki glaze, which you are supposed to just drizzle on top oh yes as well as some of this pineapple slaw and some more of those green onions and now arguably the best part of cooking i am so excited to give this a try it smells delicious it looks delicious i made this guys this is freaking delicious seriously that was delicious that was easy 100% would recommend that. If you want to check out Home Chef, definitely click my link down in the description box below. It is my custom link, so they will know that you came from me. I would really appreciate it. And also a little bit of incentive. You will get $20 off of your first four deliveries boxes. So it's a total of 80 bucks off. That is the most that Home Chef has ever offered. That's insane. Like that's such a good deal. I am so excited to eat these tacos, eat some of these tacos, and also to cook the other things on my own time that they send. Now, whew, been in this steamy kitchen long enough if you ask me. I'm gonna get on with my day and I'll see y'all in just a second here. The plant fills it out, yeah? Yeah? Anyways, hello. It is I. It is the end of the night here. I just got done uh, cooking those tacos, which, oh my god, I am so excited for leftovers tomorrow. And now my tummy is like, mm, okay, let's go digest in bed, yeah? Time for sleepy time? I would have to agree. Now in terms of the makeup, we've got a slight yikes and a slight, oh, okay. Now granted, let's all take into consideration here. I have been sweaty today. I have not blotted at all today. And especially with the foundation that I'm wearing, that is a bit of a miracle. Now that being said, I do look greasy and I do look like I could stand to blot my face. But that being said, aside without primer, I can certainly see a bunch of foundation had rubbed off on my cheeks, especially where my glasses rest, but that did not happen on the primer side. I don't have like any foundation left on my nostril on the not primer side, but I do have foundation left on my nose on the primer side. It is starting to come off for sure, but it is at least still there. Now the yikes part comes in around my mouth where it looks just awful on both sides. Weird because this foundation, I don't know that it has ever looked quite this bad. It just looks really cakey and dry and weird on both sides. So it's a bummer. I really, I don't know what that's all about, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep on testing here. We're gonna keep pushing forward. I did say earlier, this side of my face Face, it does feel super duper smooth in comparison, but it didn't make me feel heavy or anything throughout the day, so that's great. I think that's gonna do it for now. I'm gonna head to bed, but I will see you all in just a second here. Let's do a snap transition. Why not? Ready? Ding! Hello, it is the end of this room. Er, well, it's not the end quite yet, but we're getting there. I have tested out this primer for enough days for me to know that I'm still... <sighs> I'm unsure. I know, I know. The conclusivity, that's a word, right? Shocking. Just as shocking as my grammar skills, yes. Let's uh, let's walk you through the past couple days here. So, day two of testing, I went ahead and I tried this primer with my Holika Holika Aqua Jelly BB Cream. I thought, you know, that would be kind of a good change or something, you know, a bit different to put on top of this primer. And boy, did it perform differently, that's for sure. I don't know that you can see it on camera or that I got it on camera, but the primer pilled really weirdly along my jawline when I first was applying the BB cream it was just strange and it was like no matter what I did it kept pilling and kept pilling and kept pilling and then throughout the day it just got greasy which is a little weird because that BB cream on me actually does stay pretty matte it's a really it's one of my favorites but it got greasy on me and wiped off super duper easily with my finger just super quick no problems but that is a problem that it did wipe off that quickly at least for me. That's kind of what I like my primer to stop from happening. Yeah, you get me? So day two was a fail. I really did not enjoy the primer.
primer with that Holika Holika BB. Now on day three here, I went ahead and tested it out with quite arguably my favorite foundation of all time, the Estee Lauder. It's the double wear light, but then it's like the Hydra Matte something or another. Went on really beautifully, nice and easy, just like always. Like said, it's a great foundation, so I really didn't have any doubts. Although after the pilling with the last one, I had a few doubts. Looked good initially, no problems. At least I don't think there was any problems. But throughout the day here, I mean, I haven't been doing anything too intense. It's been just a kicking it around my apartment kind of a day. And I think I actually like the way this looks better without the primer compared to with the primer. Now there isn't too much of a difference I don't think on my face, but especially on my nose around where my glasses are, that's where I feel like I don't like the way that it looks. Also, I definitely just realized I've had a little dab of spaghetti sauce on my chin this whole time, so I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Anyways, first off, I thought, okay, maybe this has to do, because clearly this primer seems to react different with different foundations on top. I feel like for me, a lot of primers, it doesn't make a difference, but some, like this one, certainly do show that it can make a big difference. But then I looked at the three foundations that I was using, and all of them, the first ingredient is water, followed by some type of silicone or silicane. So that wasn't the problem because I know that seems to be the thing that most people say makes a difference. So I can't tell you why, but here, we're getting into the pros and cons. The pros. Let's go over the good first, yeah? It is hyper moisturizing, this primer, so if you are looking for something that gives your skin an extra boost of moisturizer, I would say that this one would be a good option for you. It also makes the skin nice and silky smooth and soft, not only initially, but from what I could tell, it was the biggest noticeability throughout the day I really need to go to bed. <laughs> Both sides of my face would feel silky soft in the beginning of the day, but then near the end of the day I could really tell a difference from side to side on my face which one had the primer on it based on how soft it felt. So it does continue to make your skin silky soft throughout the day, or it keeps it. It doesn't fit. Yeah, you get me? Also, especially upon initial application, it does blur the pores very nicely. I feel like I was able to see that with each one of these foundations I tested it with, that it certainly made my foundation look much more airbrushed and soft filtered on the side that I used the primer. And it stayed nice and lightweight throughout the day, so that is another, another good point here. However, we've got the cons, which is what has got me conflicted. First up, like I mentioned, it can pill. Why? I don't know. I did wait the minute wait that it told me and emphasizes and stresses to all of us to wait before putting foundation on, on top of it. So I don't know what I did wrong, but it, it did pill at one point or on one of the days of testing. Also, like I said, this primer does seem, at least for me, to only work with some foundations, which is a huge bummer. Especially because, like I said, I tried looking at the ingredient list and I personally don't know what it would be based on the fact that all of these are water-based foundations. Another con to me anyways is that while it was moisturizing, it is the type of primer where I feel like it just sits on top of the skin. I personally like a primer that really penetrates and I feel like it goes into my skin. That is all personal preference, but that is something I can say is that this does feel like it sits on top of the skin. Not in a bad way, not in the way that it feels like you can wipe it right off, but it certainly does have that feeling. And last but not least, I'm not 100% positive on this, but I do feel like this primer might be breaking me out. Not in the normal way that products typically break me out, where it gives me like the deep down cystic painful acne, but I've just noticed I've had a lot more prominent blackheads, especially on my nose, on just the one side, and then also just on the one side that I've been using primer on my face around my mouth. So this might not be great for people who have really, really oily skin so it gets clogged easily, slash people who have really sensitive skin. <sighs> So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Hopefully it gave you some insight on whether or not this is going to be a primer that you are going to want to check out for yourself. I'm probably going to keep on testing it a little bit, but overall I would say it's not my favorite primer. It didn't do the worst but it didn't do the best for me. Thank you once again to Home Chef for sponsoring this video. I have been so delighted with all of the things that got sent to me that I picked out to cook. Seriously, not only the tacos that I showed you guys, but also the other things, those cheddar biscuits. Oh my gosh, 
to die for. Delicious. So thank you not only for the sponsorship but also for the really yummy food. You guys, if you have been interested in Home Chef, I can't recommend it enough. I have really enjoyed this experience. I got my link, like I said, down in the description below along with a discount code so you can get that $80 off, which is amazing. Let me know down in the comments below if you have tried out this primer and how do you feel about it. Do you feel like it deserves all the hype that it's been getting? I mean, like I said, a lot of people seem to love this stuff, so I seem to be in the minority that it hasn't worked out the best for me. Let me also know. Also let me know, I think, is how that should have been worded. Uh, what kind of skin you have, because that might make a difference, and also what foundation you use with it. You can also let me know if you enjoyed this video by giving me a thumbs up down below. I would really appreciate it. And if you are new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe. You can tippity tap that notification bell. Become a member of my casserole family here on my channel. I would love to have you here. And as always, I just hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.